Yes, you realize that a lot of clients, when they are making tons and tons of money, they actually don't want people to know this. They do not want that they are using something free in the back end. Right? And if you eventually point out to them and say, hey, you're using a free and open source WordPress in the back end, they'll say, yeah, but I paid someone, someone a lot of money, like, like Sean, I paid him a lot of money to do it. It's not free. Okay? It's not free. Yeah. So that is the important thing. Sometimes we actually need to hide whatever we are doing for the clients. It's their request. No, not that I want to hide. There's nothing to hide. Yeah. So my name is Gi Kyung. Frankly, it's just because I was asking Sean online a lot of questions about how do I hide all these things and how do I even use... Uh, the other one is for membership, right? I was asking him about membership plugins. Before he realized that, oh, I'm actually trying very hard to use WordPress for a very, very different purpose. That's why he invited that maybe I could share with everyone here. So you can always find me online. Anyway, the group, you'll be able to find me in the group. Roughly, this is what we're going through. Let me show you what are the objectives of my little project. And I'll show you what are the main files to change. And these are, in fact, all the main files. The first page, some of the workhorses. And how do we be nice? We need to inform WordPress. I don't mean the website, the, the programmers and so on. I'm talking about the WordPress engine itself. We need to inform them that we are doing something to them. Uh, then they will allow us to do it. Yeah, so everything is legal. <laughs> Nothing bad about this. Right? And everything else that you want to do to WordPress. Okay. Let me get started. <laughs> As just like this bear, whatever we want to do, we better start with our objective. Otherwise, we are like a headless chicken, right? Uh, so these are the objectives. I'm trying to write a little application that actually does not need to look at WordPress at all. And these are my job requirements. I'm told that I need user authentication, meaning people can register themselves. And it has to adapt to any screen, which is all modern applications are like that, right? And I need some authorization. I need access rights control. And eventually, I'm going to add in this. I haven't managed to find time to do this yet. The membership, membership fee collection is not done yet. Yeah, but I'm sure it's just a plug-in away, right? Yeah. So this, I can tell you that, frankly, practically all of those things I mentioned, all those requirements are provided by WordPress already. I didn't need to do anything extra. It's all provided for. So it looks something like this. The website that I'm creating looks something like this. Yes, of course, I have to talk a little bit about iPhone. It's so pervasive, right? The tablet looks like that. And on a PC, I better show a little demo since I'm here. So you know that at least the application is working, right? Okay, so the app looks like this online. It, oh, by the way, you look at the menu. It's a very simple menu now because I haven't logged in yet. Am I blocking? Good. Okay, so the menu is like this before you log in. But the moment you log in, actually the menu looks a bit more. Let me try. Let me log in. Where's my login screen? Just get out of this one. Oops. What did I press? Okay. This one. So, for example, I log in as an admin. This, by the way, is provided by WordPress. It's not even programmed by me. Cancel <coughs> this. Okay. Notice the menu bar is changed, right? And these are all programmable. Uh, so just run you through a little bit. The first time user to this website, simply <coughs> click on this, enters how many accounts he wants to buy. Uh, by the way, my little application is for job seekers. You tell us what are the tasks that you like to do, what are the tasks that you are good at, and you try to match you up with potential jobs. It's not working yet. <laughs> it's all theoretical. Yeah. But roughly, it is possible that you buy it for yourself, you use it for yourself, or you could be a HR department and buy it for the whole team of them. So you do internal matching. So once you're done entering everything there, you pay for it, maybe using the membership plugin. Let me get out of this again. Am I there? And then I'll be able to do things like this. Uh. Not everything free, uh. <laughs> all these are pretty much uh, created. Oh, sorry, what do you say? You mean all these? Uh? All these are actually coded by me. So, oh, yeah. Yes, it's all in codes. Yeah. So all these things, how you add the task and so on there. 
Once you add your peer below, let me see, is it added? Ah, yeah, it's all there. Now things like this, and if you want to take a look at your report after you enter in all those things, it will tell you something like this. There. A report that says, since your strength is in this and you love doing this, 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 I consider that you take a career in that, that, that. Okay. Something simple like that. Okay. But, okay, enough of this. Let me show you how this is all done. Hang on. Let me get this out. Present. There. Good. Okay, so how is it done? These are the files that are involved. The first page, some of the templates, how to register WordPress, and everything else. Right? Now, the first page is simply the index.php file. If you have access to your own WordPress file, your folder itself, you'll be able to find this. This is actually hidden inside the template folder. Now, here's a trick. I'm not writing a plugin. I'm creating a whole website. Uh, so this index is not your regular PHP index file. This is the templates index. Meaning that if you install a template, for example, you install modern the modern theme, right? Uh, and you look inside your folder, under the theme folder, you'll find a modern theme folder. And this is the index file. Uh, so I'm really modifying a whole theme. Uh, so that said, what's the drawback? The obvious drawback is, once I change a theme, all my codes are gone, right? Uh, but since I'm programming my own website, I actually will never want to change my theme. I'm going to make it sure it stick like this forever. Uh, so I'm in control still. Uh, so once you go to edit that, frankly, the page simply looks like this. Once you include the header, include the footer, everything in, the, in between is PHP and HTML. Like everything in blue is PH, uh, HTML. These are PHP just to check whether the user has logged in or not. If they haven't logged in, they'll remind them. If it did, that's it. So this is what the most basic homepage looks like. I can add in a lot more, all the HTML codes that you like. Right? Now, how about the other templates that you need to edit? The other templates, there's only this little secret that you need to know. All the template files that you ever create, which are actually your codes, these are your actual codes, whatever your page you want it to look like, it's all inside here. The trick is surprisingly in a remark statement. This remark statement that is labeled with template name, this name is actually recognized by WordPress. Now, whatever you name it here, within WordPress, you can actually find it. Yeah, it is automatically searchable. Right? So make sure you name this clearly. So if this file is called templateabout.php, I have tendency to name it exactly templateabout so that there's a one-to-one -one match. So choose your names wisely. Uh, so same thing, you have your header, your footer, and in between is all HTML code, nothing more. So whatever code you want. Now uh, let me show you another template. This is a admin template. It's just a little more complicated. Besides the header and the footer, in between, you check whether it's logged in or not. And of course, if you don't like HTML, you can always echo out every single line of code that you like. But frankly, this can be HTML, just simple HTML code is fine meaning you design somewhere else, and then just copy and paste it in. It's all right. Now, enough templates. Let me show you this. All these little templates actually need to be registered with PHP engine itself. That little framework needs to know that our pages exist. Otherwise, your, your pages are like hanging little orphan char like that. So how to register and inform WordPress? This is the function. It's called functions.php. Same thing, within your template folder, you'll be able to find this file. It's not written by me, it's already written. What I did was simply add a few extra lines of code in there, at the very bottom, like this. For example, just now I talked about, there's an about page, right? About this website, this is the page. And there's an admin page, this is the page. So I just need to add both this in and tell WordPress that the two PHP files exist. And that's it. Now WordPress knows that my file exists. And that's almost there already, almost done. Nah, here's the tricky part. Just now that function that I added called add, add page, it is actually a bit long. Uh, this I happen to find. Some other nice soul wrote it. Again, uh, it's an open source community. Someone who have written this. So I took it, I simplified it a bit more, and then it actually just looks like this. First step is to check whether 
the page that we wanted to add, like the admin page or the about page, does it exist? So I get it from WordPress, double check. If it exists, I do not need anything, just point there. In fact, I just return it. Uh, there's nothing more. These two lines I've commented away, I was testing something. So you actually just need to return the ID of the page I added. Or else, if it does not exist, now I add. How do I add? It's actually just one line. Again, WordPress provided for the function already. These are not special codes. These are provided by me. I just make sure I add in all the various variables in there. Right? So once you're done, just get out of this. And that's it. So footer is done. The WordPress engine has been informed. The rest of it is frankly, just now I keep saying, add your header, include your footer, right? Uh, it's roughly what it looks like. This is a regular HTML header. Yeah, I just chop it off at this point. Why? Because I needed my own custom navigation bar. Uh, so I added one extra navigation bar there. And what does the footer look like? It's actually the other half. There. It's continued from just now that one all the way up to here. That's it. Actually, I forgot to tell you. Actually, all these slides, we'll put it on the page later. So there's no need to record. Uh, so feel free to just download later. Sorry. <laughs> nah. And how about the navigation bar? Navigation bar, okay, I'm, I'm a programmer by training. So I tend to add everything in quotes. Frankly, you don't have to. This can be HTML, purely HTML. So what I did was simply have a little function that included all my links one by one. Oh, this dot equals simply means concatenate. I just keep on joining my links together. So I concatenate them together. I add a home button, add a payment button, add task button, etc., etc. I add the various buttons depending on whether I don't care whether he's a login guy or if I care and he's really logged in, then I allow him to access tasks. Or better still, if this guy is an admin, he can manage the options. I add in some more little, little buttons for him to touch. Uh, otherwise, he can simply lock out and that's it. Uh, now, here comes the next question. This works. Remember just now when you added, you said things like about.php, admin.php. How come there's no about.php, nothing there? The trick comes in here. In WordPress itself, for example, if I have a little page just now called favoritetask.php, it would have been hidden inside here automatically because we did an add page just now, right? Uh, but once you find that page, this is the link to create. Make sure you change the favorite task, the word here. Make it a permanent link. It will automatically appear there. And now WordPress will know that this favorite task is linked to our page. Meaning that you go into WordPress administrator, go to the pages, find the favorite task page or the about page, Inside the about page, you find a little permanent link here. Change this to about, and then save it. And you're done. Now it's connected properly already. So this was the very last part that links them all together. Why is it mm. your IP address on uh, Actually, this is my IP address, sorry. So if you are hackers and you want to hack, now you can go directly into it. It's not even HTTPS. Yeah. It's not secure. Um, anyway, this is just my little page just for playing. So it is not official. So I'm using it for fun. So feel free to have fun with it. Or go play, go hack, and then tell me <laughs> what you catch from there. It should be an easy hack. <laughs> okay, so this is the trick, the very last trick I have for tonight. Okay, so make sure you're linked there. Now, so my question is this. We have done a very, very small little change, a very, very small little website. Is it so critical? Is it a lot, lot of impact? Actually, no, it's just one small little thing. Right? I've just made one little website that does not look like WordPress. But I thought about it a bit more carefully and realized that actually out in the world, 51% of the websites are actually WordPress websites. It's a lot. I'm surprised. All the other CMS, Microsoft included, is within this little chunk. But there's a large bunch that's unknown. This bunch, I'm wondering whether a lot of them are like me. They have all hidden so that people cannot tell that what, whatever they are is hidden. So what if whatever I coded actually belongs here? This plus this is a lot. It is over 75%. Look at the number, it's humongous. The whole world has so many active sites around. WordPress alone is half. If we add another more of those unknowns to it, we are A1 students already. Oh, definitely. Uh, graphically, this is WordPress, these are the unknowns. If you add them all up, look at that. <laughs> we own the world, man. 
<laughs> we practically can take over the whole world. <laughs> and people won't know. This is like a secret mission. So that's it. We should go for champagne tonight. Enough. <laughs> okay, so frankly, that's all I have. Any slides that you need, uh, Shan can share. Yeah, he'll put it up tomorrow so you just download. Anything else, just tinker me. I can be reached via the group itself. Uh, I'll be happy to share. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you, guys.